Hey dudes, how's it going? It's Hennis here. This will be part two of my epic text box series. I uh, just had to cut it up a bit because enjoy, boys, and don't forget to smash that like button. Whee! Boys! Okay, have a good one, guys. Bye. Alright guys, stroke of genius. Uh, it looks like it did kind of before, but you'll see that it's not breaking up on the words, like I said with this second one. It's getting to the word state, and then it's saying that there's not enough space, so I put it at the start of the new line. Brilliant. And I could pretty easily add some other controls, like for a full stop. Maybe I want that to be a new line, but maybe not as well, you know. i got to see how it looks. Yeah, I actually, I was going to cram it into this. This kind of looks the same as it did before. Formerly it was cutting the whole text into into the lines, but if you do a step before, draw looks the same, of course. Oh, that that Pepsi, you know, it's a bit gassy. Yeah, I was going to have like this super loop within a loop craziness, which I've done in the past, but I thought, you know what, the easy way to do this would be instead of doing it character by character, like I was doing with this before, that would require like detecting if your character that's at the start of a word and then doing a loop within that that just loops until it finds a space and then that's how you know that that is a word and then once you've dealt with that appropriately you have to like go back to where you were no you don't you stay where you were because that word's dealt with skip over the space i don't know man it hurts my head um what i did first is now i've got it broken into not only the lines it's going to show but the individual words so the first thing I do here is I just loop through all the text into this similar looking script here. Middle mouse button by the way, if you do that on a script name it opens the script. And if you do that on a, a game maker function then it opens up the help document to it. Little little fun fact there. Yeah, so first I just go through it and when I hit a space I go, I go through the characters. This long text is really annoying. Yep, start from the start. Current words is empty. I go through it, do 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 do, the characters, H-E-L-L-O, space, once I hit the space, well, everything I built up before then is a word, stick that as the word of wherever we're up to, and then progress the list, next one, and then, then we know the next character is going to start a new word, or it might not, it might be a double space for some reason, and then we'd have an empty word, yeah, easy peasy, so it's, we do, we give it the old one too, you know, cut it up into the words, and then cut the lines up. So I'll probably make the box look more as you'd expect. So down here, and I'd, I'll fit the appropriate amount of lines. I had it really spaced out because I was having trouble with the overlapping before. But yeah, and it'll be just showing a few lines and then progressing through them with the action button. Goodbye. Hi. Okay, so this is my first run since I've uh, attempted to make the box more appropriately sized. I haven't repositioned it, so it's still a bit higher than it should be. But here we go. Boom. Ah. Uh, Funkiness happening here, but I don't think it matters. Uh, focus is up here, so you can see 0, 1, 2, 3, it's restricted to 3 lines. Sizing's not quite right, but you can see it's closer to reasonable. Hello Young here is activating this dialog, should set the game into an into a NPC talking state. It should not overflow the sides of the box, it should also cut itself up, and it can't fit the next word, so that's gone to the next line. Now if I hit E, it won't exit, instead, ding! It progresses. You can see obviously this has been, I didn't actually intend for this, but it, it makes sense that I haven't thought about it, but it's meant to like translate itself, you know, to be up here. But the correct li lines are showing, seemingly, four, five, six, seven, uh, appropriately, yeah. That's why there's such a big space, because that's a big word. So it does all that, boo, 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 boo. And then next, ding. And there was just enough text that we needed another box, which would be correct. If I hit E again, well, we're still in this text state, but it's not drawing any any of the text. So on the drawing side, it's realized there's nothing left to draw, I suppose, because otherwise it would draw the, the numbers, but the text state is still active, essentially. I'll hit E again. Boom, we're back out. His movement's still correct, so I guess that's fine. I don't know. I think in old Final Fantasies, I, I picked this up kind of recently watching one of the speedruns or whatever, but... You can talk to them as they begin the movement and they do face you and they continue to slide to where they were going. So 
Cool, so there's a little more to do. Make it look more proper. And I gotta get that rid of that phantom state. And I want like a text scrolling effect as well, so peace. Just doing another quick run here. Yeah, first is the same. Yeah, and then it doesn't have the translate. And then I get to here and then oh, it exits the state. So cool. So that's essentially very basic dialogue talking there. A little more things to do. Goodbye. Woo, final clip on this probably. Let's take a look. Boom, I talk. I didn't really change the position of the box like I said I would. I was focused on the typewriter effect that you saw play out. Once it finishes, you draw a little cursor here that suggests like we can continue. And then it goes on to the next one. And yep, same there. Probably want to give it some more dedicated space. Obviously, I got to like, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, obviously when it's ready, it just detects that it's when it's gotten to the end. Um, and then afterwards it exits the state. I'll talk to him again and you can see if I hit the key right away it skips to the end so I can skip through it very quick if I'd like and I can repeat it as much as I want we're stuck in this state so walking around doesn't work cool how cool is that um yeah I'll worry about the positioning stuff later I'm happy I've I got that working I probably need to take a step back to UI design now we haven't really done any of that since the battle stuff because I not only will I will it help to position the text where I want but uh, I think I'd like to get like a player menu going soon so we can have windows into other fun stuff like equipping our characters with stuff and uh, displaying information about our party cool it's coming along pretty well I think I think there is one brief thing uh, what I'm looking for I just noticed watching this that the if there's too many yeah they, <laughs> they start to blink if there's too many sprites on the screen it's a very nice limited thing so if they're competing for the same uh, sprite slots I suppose I'd kind of like the text to be like this if you just saw it ah yeah like keep scrolling along like that I actually think that'll be cool. So when I play around with the text again, I'll I'll probably aim to do that. Yep, well, that's enough of this video anyway. Oh, peace you out for now. Goodbye.